Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, just a quick video of some of the bottle bacteria that I use in my aquariums and you know friends and customers' aquariums. Um, in the order that I use them in, um, we have Dr. Tim's one and only. We have C Kim Pristine. We have Fritzheim Nine. Um, Microbacter Seven by Brightwell Aquatics, and we have. Seachem stability. And I'm gonna go over each one and tell you why I use it and what order I use it in. So first we start off with <clears throat> uh, when I first set up a tank with live rock and or either dry rock. I don't use live rock. I use all Marco rocks uh, just for the porosity and how clean it is. It doesn't need curing, but it does need cycling. So as far as the cycle goes. Um, I don't have to worry about organics because, like I said, Marco Rocks uses a three-stage cleaning process, so it's ready to tank. Even if you have an established reef, it's ready to tank. You don't have to worry about organics or ammonia spikes or nothing like that. But I do like to use Dr. Tim's one and only. Okay. For those who don't know, uh, Dr. Tim was one of the original founders of Biospira, which I believe Instant Ocean makes. Yeah. So um, he's the actual final founder of the back to specific saltwater strains of uh, nitrifying bacteria in reef tanks. So when I first set up a tank, um, I pour a bottle of this in. Uh, put a pair of clownfish or, uh, yeah, a pair of clownfish. I don't use damsels. I don't use chromis. Or you can use some cheap um, mollies from PetSmart if you acclimate them well. But uh, depending on the size of the tank, of course, this one is only for 30 gallons. So these ones sell at Amazon for like 350 So I got about six of these bottles instead of, you know, the big, huge bottle. Um, doesn't need refrigerating, so uh, yeah, I use this. I uh, put a pair of clownfish in and and let the cycle start. Now, if I was to use live rock, and if I use live rock, it's specifically because a customer or a friend wanted it because it's already purple and already got life on it. I definitely would still use the one and only, and I would use Sea Kim Pristine. What Seacom Pristine does is a natural organic waste. Uh, it gets rid of sludge and detritus. So if you have freshly, uh, you know, fresh live rock and you want to go through the cycle, I'll put in one and only to start the natrifying bacteria. And I'm going to use Pristine to, you know, clean the rock off and organically. And, you know, it has enzymes and certain strains of bacteria that dissolve sludge and organic compounds, uh, gets rid of fats that cause unsightly films. Uh, so yeah, this one will control ammonia nitrate and nitrates. So I use these two when I use live rock. Now, after every water change, I use this Fritzheim 9. It's not the concentrated I think it's Turbo Start is the concentrated one, but this one is is not as concentrated. This big bottle, this is the eight ounce. It only treats up to twenty gallons. You know, sadly, it's only yeah twenty gallons. But this is good for after you're doing a water change, or you're about to add new fish, or you you clean the tank and disturb the sand bed, or you anything you you know might disturb the natural. Bacteria balance, I use Fritzheim 9. It's fairly cheap. It's a big bottle. Uh, yeah, it's real cheap. I think this is only like, I think $4.95, $5 at Premium Aquatics. Probably no more than $5. So after a water change or after I disturb the sand bed or siphon the sand bed or anything like that, well, I, I know I disturbed the, you know, I might have stirred up some stuff. I use... You know, do a water change. This is putting in fridge out nine. That's the end of that. You know, it just it just boosts the bacteria population you already have. Now, 
a lot of people who have new reefs and new saltwater tanks, they have diatoms and they might have little patches of green hair algae or brown algae. Um, so I'll use Microbacter 7. This stuff is amazing. Not only does it establish nitrifying bacteria, but improves water quality. I don't, this stuff is just, it's a lot of enzymes and different strains of bacteria and heterotrophic bacteria and it says non-pathogenic aerobic and anaerobic microbes as well as natural enzymes specifically for me to establish biological filtration in new aquarium setups and to enhance the rate of nitrification, denitrification, and organic waste degradation, degradation in marine and freshwater aquaria through complete nutrient remineralization. I mean, this stuff, I had one tank, it had diatoms everywhere, but just brown algae everywhere. It had uh, green hair algae. Just real, just a real funky tank. It was just full of phosphates. I was a rookie. I was feeding flake just because the fish swam to the top. I was just feeding and feeding and feeding. You know, every time I walked to the tank, they would come to the top of the tank, so I figured they were hungry. Uh, scrubbed the rock, used a turkey baster, I took the rock out and dipped it in peroxide, and just diatoms came right back, and everything is just ugly. So I started dosing Microbacter 7, and in a matter of about a week, week and a half, the diatoms were gone, the hair algae was gone, I had a funky type of white hair algae, it was weird, it was it looked like a fungus, but it wasn't, um, this got rid of it. So this stuff is amazing. So not only does it clean your live rock, cleans, you know, sand bed, gets rid of diatoms, but it also establishes biological filtration. So, I mean, this stuff is a godsend. This is stuff is great. Now, last piece of advice I'm going to share, Seachem Stability. Now, the reason I use Seachem Stability is because I use... Uh, I use Marine Pure Spears. I use the Marine Pure Blocks. And Marine Pure is really, really porous. And the Marine Pure Rocks have a real deep internal pore structure, which is why I use Stability. Stability has uh, regular nitrifying bacteria. It has uh, aerobic, of course, but it also has anaerobic bacteria. So that's the kind of bacteria I want deep inside my marine pure rocks because that's what controls nitrates. And it also contains, I believe, one more type of bacteria, which is, yeah, it's one more type of bacteria. Falc, was it faculata? I don't know. Bacteria which facilitates the breakdown of waste organics, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. The bacteria employed by stability are non sulfur fixing and will not produce toxic hydrogen sulfide. I don't know if it's just with people with these deep sand beds or the sand beds where they don't, you know, take care of them. Sometimes you might siphon them and you'll see the sand is black and it smells like. It smells like a big fart or a big rotten egg. That's hydrogen sulfide. That will nuke your whole tank. The bacteria instability will not produce hydrogen sulfide. So not only does it have aerobic bacteria, anaerobic bacteria, but it also has another bacteria, which is this synergistic blend, which uh, breaks down waste, organics, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and all the other stuff. So... I use this, um, I want to say, capful once every week. Yeah, capful every week. Just, just because. You know, you can never have too much bacteria. Um, you know, I mean, medications sometimes can destroy bacteria if you have, if you use medications for uh, cyanobacteria or some of these people that are putting fluconazole in their tanks to get rid of bryopsis or green hair algae. Some people are medicating their tanks with uh, Melafix and Pimafix and this fix and that fix. So, you know, eventually the good bacteria is going to get depleted. So 
I use the Fritzine, I use Stability, and I use Micro Vector 7. That's my lineup for maintenance in my tank. So, I probably rambled during this video. As you know, I don't edit anything. I keep it real. I tell you how I feel. I'm not sponsored by any of these products, so I'm not being biased. But these are the ones that work. I mean, you can use them any combination you want. You don't have to use the combination I'd use. But just to review, in the beginning, I used these two, which is Dr. Tim's and Pristine. Um, doing water changes or adding new fish or anything like that, I use Fritz M9. Now, the Fritz does make Turbo Star, which is the very concentrated version of this. If you can't find Dr. Tim's one to only, use Fritz M, I mean, use Turbo Star. It's highly concentrated. Um, I use stability just for the broad spectrum of bacteria it employs. I use Microbacter to clean my live rock and keep my sand bed sparkly white. Get rid of any phosphates I might have and you know that's that. So thanks for giving me your time and patience while I ramble about all the bacteria products I use. Like I said, I know there's a lot of people that say, oh, bacteria in a bottle doesn't work. Well, I'm going to tell you two reasons, and I'm going to end this video, why it doesn't work. Usually people order stuff from Amazon, uh, whether, you know, you don't want to go to LFS or it's not LFS around you. So they order everything from Amazon. It's cold outside, so you got to remember that not only does this bacteria in a bottle sit on the shelf at Amazon or any other place you order from, but then it has to sit on a truck and travel in the cold. Then, you know, it sits on another delivery truck in the cold. If it freezes, of course the bacteria is going to die. Then you add it to the tank and you say, oh, well, this bacteria didn't do nothing. It's probably dead. So order from somewhere that, you know, employs heat packs or ice packs in the summer. Uh, yeah, speaking of summertime, you know, it's, it's sitting in a hot factory. Then it gets transferred to UPS. UPS has a hot factory. Then it sits on a truck, in a hot truck that's not air conditioned all day until it reaches your doorstep. And by then, the bacteria is dead. So get your bacteria from a good place that you know has a good reputation and good shipping habits. And that's that. So, once again, thanks for watching. This video is 13 minutes too long, but hopefully, I. I uh, explain to you all the bacteria I use. Thanks for watching. Happy reefing.